serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high fidelity all digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. But tonight, Tam and the two teams matched up. We're just carrying it here on the Show Me Sports Network main channel. As this is a big game for both teams. For the uh, Lady Indians, they're sitting at 13-2 and two on the season. For the Southern Boone County Eagles, they sit at 9-5 and five on their season. As taking a look at the starting lineups, as they will have batting leadoff in the center field, Kristen Jones. At shortstop, batting second will be number seven, Delaney Crocker. At third base, batting third, Madison Lucas. Catching, batting fourth will be Meredith Blakemore. Pitching will be Abby Lear in left field. Batting sixth will be Marissa Austin. Designated player batting seventh will be Danica Alley. In right field, batting eighth will be Haley Calvert. At second base, batting ninth, will be number 20, Addie Daly. And at first base in the flex player, that'll be number 18, Haley Martin, to round out their starters here for this contest here this evening. Trying to get it in before the rain. We know that it's uh, possibly headed our way, so hoping to get it in before anything falls from the sky. As taking a look at the uh, Southern Boone County Eagles starting lineup, they'll start in center field. Number six batting leadoff is Sidney Turner. On the... Uh, Rubber in the circle, batting second, starting pitcher Paige Cruzan. And behind home plate, batting third will be Gracie Britton. At first base, batting fourth will be Emily Dehas. Left fielder, batting fifth will be Addie Lang. Batting sixth will be the shortstop in Brooklyn Center. Batting seventh at third base is Ashlyn Ussery. Batting eighth, playing in right field will be Cammie Woby, and at second base, batting ninth, will be Addison Wren to round out the starters for Southern Boone. As uh, I coined this, the uh, Show Me Sports Network softball showdown here as these two teams get exclusive coverage here on the Show Me Sports Network. We're going to have the national anthem, so we'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of not only Southern Boone County Eagles softball, but also Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. At Hallsville School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Join Hallsville School District's team today, now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit Hallsville.org and click on the employment link under our district tab. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Now more than ever. The Southern Boone School District is hiring part-time bus drivers for route athletics and activities with no experience necessary. Our drivers enjoy flexible work hours, paid on-site CDL training, and paid time off, all while helping our community. The position offers competitive pay. Go visit sbschools.us slash employment. We need you! At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer, you're a parent, you're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. 
El National Anthem finished up here at the ballpark. We're just about ready to get softball action underway. As we get on the mound will be sophomore pitcher and Paige Cruzan. She has pitched most of the games this season for Southern Boone. She'll be uh, met by Abby Lear, who will suit up for the uh, Lady Indians. As for Lear, she is a junior. We're just about set to get our Show Me Sports Network softball showdown underway between these two teams here in the visiting Hallsville Lady Indians and the Southern Boone County Eagles, the home squad here. First offering to Jones is it'll miss ball one. Kristen Jones, a senior at Hallsville. As Cruzan will look back in. Next delivery. That one down central called strike one, so that'll even the count at one ball and one strike. So Jones bats left-handed. They do pull first base in as well as third base. She's going to foul that one out of play. So that gets over the net and goes into the parking lot. So now the count will be one ball and two strikes. And these two teams matched up to start the season off in the opening tournament for both teams. One, two delivery, that one outside. Evens account, two balls, two strikes. They matched up in the 35th annual Hallsville Invitational. That was in the championship game as Southern Boone got the 3-2 to two victory over the Lady Indians. As next delivery, that one's going to be a ball popped into the air. Coming in is left field. She'll make the grab as that is Addie Lang coming in for out number one. So one up and one down. As now this will be shortstop Delaney Crocker. As Crocker, a sophomore. For the Lady Indians, they're wearing their purple tops and the purple socks with the white pants with the purple trim down the side. First delivery to her downstairs, ball one. Says Indians in white with a little gold trim on it. Also same for the numbers. On the back, the white numbers with the gold trim. 1-0 delivery. That one down central called strike one. Evens a count of one ball and one strike. For Southern Boone, they're wearing their black jerseys with the black pants. The red socks have the red stripes down the shoulder. So Southern Boone across the front of it. There's a bouncing ball to third. Usri will glove. She'll throw to first for out number two. A 5-3 put out. Now this will be third baseman and Madison Lucas. As Lucas, a senior, she steps in. Sun popping out just so briefly, but have quite a bit of cloud cover. You definitely had to break out a different wardrobe for tonight's game than Tuesday's. This first pitch from Cruz and strike one. Tuesday it was in the upper 90s. Heat index was almost triple digits, if not triple digits. Today you got to have... A jacket, a hoodie, long sleeve shirt, something like that. That one downstairs and inside, so that'll take the count. So one ball and one strike. Cruzan looking to get through the inning in one, two, three fashion. Next delivery, there's going to be a bouncing ball. Again, it'll be gloved at third by Ussery. Throw to first in time for out number three. So three up and three down as we'll go to the bottom of the first inning, still scoreless. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone Eagles softball and Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your your last line of defense. 
At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421-5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com. Centurion Cares, innovative communication solutions. We go to the bottom of the first inning, still scoreless as leading off will be center fielder in Sidney Turner for Southern Boone. Turner, a sophomore here at Southern Boone, left-handed batter as she will step in as in the circle, Abby Lear gets the start for the Lady Indians. They will pull the infield in here for her. First pitch to Turner, she's going to slice that one into center field. So first pitch, she sends it out of the infield, gets a leadoff single. It's about the best bat swing I think I've seen this season from her. Now this is pitcher Paige Cruzan. As Cruzan steps in, a sophomore for Southern Boone. Left-handed batter, one on, nobody out. Lear looks in, her first pitch, that's outside. That'll be ball one. So she will be ahead in the count at 1-0. and oh. As Lear looks back in, next delivery, she'll show bunt, she'll foul it back. So that'll leave in the count at one ball and one strike. As Lear gives up a single on her first pitch of the game. In the on-deck circle will be catcher Gracie Britton. So Lear looks back in. She'll bunt again. It'll be laid down. Trying to leg it out is Cruzan, and the throw is there just in time for out number one. That does advance Turner to second base. That goes a fielder's choice. One three fielder's choice. Now this is catcher Gracie Britton. That's Britton stepping in. She's a freshman here at Southern Boone. She steps in right-handed batter. One out on the board. Has a runner on second base to work with here. That's first delivery. She's going to hit that one. Tried to check her swing look like, and it is caught at first base by Martin. So out number two. So this is first baseman Emily Dehas. She is a senior for the Eagles. She's going to foul the first pitch back for strike one. Addie Lang, the left fielder, would be in the on-deck circle if Dehas could reach first base safely. Does have Turner standing at second base after she got a leadoff single. Looking back in is Lear. She'll get the sign. Next delivery. That one outside and away. Evens account. One ball, one strike. And Turner on second base. For the Lady Indians, they're coming into the game this last week of action. Scoring an average of 14 runs a game. There's going to be a bouncing ball fouled on the third base line. For Southern Boone, they were in action on Tuesday night. That was their last action here at home. They lost to Helias 6-1. to one. Only mustered a couple of hits in the game. They pushed the run across late, late in the game. 1-2 delivery, that one upstairs. So now we're even at two balls and two strikes. Dehas steps back in. Lear works the rosin back. Now she's back on the rubber. That one low, so now we're full. At three balls and two strikes. Again, Turner standing at second base. She singled to lead off the game and then moved over to second with a fielder's choice. Lear looks back in. Payoff pitch, that one upstairs. So a six-pitch walk, six walk issued to... Dehas. So this will be Addie Lang with two on and two outs here. 
They'll bring in a courtesy runner. They do not bring in a courtesy runner, I should say, for DeHass. So Lang will step in. Right-handed senior. There's going to be a bouncy ball. It's going to get through to left field. They'll put the brakes on as bases will be loaded. So Lang singles into left field. She's got her first hit of the game. Now it's bases loaded. Two outs here on the board. As we play in the bottom of the first inning, this is shortstop Brooklyn Center. Center a freshman here for Southern Boone. There's going to be a bouncing ball. That is ripped foul down the third baseline. She was just in front of that. It'll be strike one. Southern Boone looking to get out early here over the Lady Indians of Hallsville. Base is loaded. Two outs here, bottom of the first inning we play. 0-1 delivery. That one is upstairs. So that evens the count at one ball and one strike. Again, these two teams matched up on the 20. 7th of August. That one dropped in there for called strike two. That was at the 35th annual Hallsville Invitational, softball Invitational at Hallsville. That got the season off underway for all the teams. There's going to be a bouncing ball. It's going to go to third. No glove. Step on third for out. Number three. So in the inning, there were two hits. No runs produced. No errors. They left Three on the base pass, or two on the base pass. We'll take a quick break and be back. We'll go to the uh, second inning as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Attention Network. Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at S. BC Athletic Boosters at gmail.com. Let's go, Eagles. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie. We'll go to the uh, top of the second inning. Batters uh, four, five, and six, two up. This will be catcher Meredith Blakemore, the junior leading off. His first pitch from Cruzan. It's going to be hit high in the air. It's coming over is center. She will make the grab for out number one. One pitch, one out. That's will be a pitcher and Abby Lear stepping in. Or Lear the junior at Hallsville. First pitch to her, big swing and a miss there for strike one. Cruzan. Looking for her first strikeout of the game here. She looks back in. 0-1 delivery. That one down central for called strike two. So Lear has to protect the plate now. She's down in the count 0-2. Austin is in the on-deck circle. A one out here, 0-2 count. Cruzan's next delivery. That one just missed. That'll make it... One ball and two strikes here. As Lear will dig back into the right-handed batter's box. Next delivery. That one's upstairs. Now we're even to two balls and two strikes. They do appeal down and they say first base umpire says Lear did not go around. So Cruzan looks back in. Still a 0-0 score. That one upstairs and outside. That'll make it three balls and two strikes. Neither team has scored yet here. Southern Boone had bases loaded with two outs and unable to push any runs across bottom of the first inning. It's 1-2-3 top of the first for Hallsville. 
That one down central, called strike three. Backwards K recorded for strikeout for Cruzan. And now this will be left fielder and Marissa Austin. She is a junior for Hallsville. So two outs here on the board. And she will step in on the left-hand side of the plate. Either team is yet to crack the scoreboard. Cruz Ann's first delivery, that one fouled back, strike one. Britton goes and gets that, tosses it back to Cruz Ann as she'll tow the rubber in the circle. Oh, one delivery, that one swung on and missed, got her to chase one upstairs. So Austin will be down in the count at 0 and 2. Cruzan looking for back-to-back -back one, two, three innings here as we play in the top of the second. That pitch outside. Britton trying to frame that, but couldn't get the call on it. That'll make it one ball and two strikes. Designated player Danica Alley in the on-deck circle. If Austin could find a way to reach base safely. A 1-2 delivery. That's going to be a well-hit ball to right field as trying to track it down. Making the grab as she's shifting to her right, to her left rather, is Wobie. So that'll be three up and three down. As in the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning as it is a tie ball game at 0-0. Zero to zero. Listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to to find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. Attention Indians fans, here's your chance to help the student-athletes of Hallsville by becoming a member of the Hallsville Athletic Boosters. Your gifts help provide all Hallsville athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Hallsville Athletic Boosters this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Hallsville Athletic Boosters or email them at HallsvilleAthleticBoosters at gmail.com. Let's go Indians! We go to the bottom of the second inning, still scoreless here at Southern Boone. Yes, the first base umpire decided it's maybe a little chillier than he thought he And he got his jacket real quick. As this will be batters 7, 8, and 9 to up. Third baseman Ashlyn Ussery, the senior for Southern Boone, one of three seniors. will lead off the inning here. Then it'll be Wobie and Wren as Ussery steps in on the left-hand side of the plate. First delivery, that one's going to be straight down central for called strike one. So now she'll be down in the count at 0-1 as Lear entering her second inning to work here for the Lady Indians. They do pull everybody but the shortstop in. That one's going to bounce home, so I'm leaving the count. A one ball and one strike. She'll dig in here, 1-1 one, one delivery. That one's going to miss a bit outside. So that'll make it two balls and one strike. And everybody shifted in, as well as the outfielders pulled in. That one's going to be upstairs, so that'll be ball three. So three balls and one strike to count. We'll be in the on-deck circle, then Wren would be due up. Then we go back to the top of the lineup and Turner. One of these three would get on. 3-1 count, next delivery. It's going to be a ball fouled off. Now we're full of three balls and two strikes. Ussery trying to stay alive here. That ball will bounce off a Lear's glove and go out towards second base. Well, no runs, two hits, no errors. Two left on the base path for Southern Boone. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on the base path for 
Lady Indians. Payoff pitch. That one's going to be hit up in the air right in front of me. And the catcher cannot get over and catch that. And Blakemore. So that'll still stay full on three balls and two strikes. Didn't have it much in baseball season, but so far last uh, last two games, we've had several foul balls headed this direction. And one right over my head on Tuesday. There's going to be a ball hit in the air, but caught by the left fielder who was pulled in as that was caught by Austin for out number one. So now stepping in, this will be right fielder in Cami Wobie. As Wobie steps in, she is a sophomore for Southern Boone. So Wobie stepping in now. First pitch in there, called strike one. Just caught the inside part of the plate for strike one. Is that all? Take the count. No balls and one strike. One out here, next pitch, that one upstairs. So that'll even the count, one ball, one strike. As will be. We'll step back in right-handed batter for Southern Boone. She'll get set, Lear's next delivery. That one down central called strike two. One ball, two strike count now. As will be, we'll step back in. Lear, her next delivery. There's going to be a swing and a miss for out number two. First strikeout of the game for Lear. As now this will be Addison Wren, the sophomore for Southern Boone. She will step in on the left-hand side of the plate. Lear looking to make it a 1-2-3 inning her own after her team has gone down in order in the last two innings. Bottom of the second, we play two outs. Next delivery, that one down central. Called strike one as Wren was thinking about throwing a little bit of bat on it. She takes a couple steps towards first. There's going to be a swing and a miss. So now she'll have to uh, protect the plate as she's down in the count. No balls, two strikes. Again, neither team has scored yet here. As we play in the bottom of the second, infield pulled in. she watch that one go outside. So that'll make it one ball, two strikes. Third pulled in, as well as second base. She's going to foul that one back. Just got a piece of it off the end of the bat, so that'll trickle over here in front of me as I look straight down the first base line. Stepping back in is Wren. Lear's next delivery. There's going to be a swing and a miss for out number three. And the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on the base path. We'll go to the third inning, still scoreless. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles as well as Hallsville Lady Indians here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog, Tracer, who has been my best friend in my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved, volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, RetrievingFreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. At Southern Boone School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Our students need you. Join Southern Boone School District's team today. Now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit ashland.k12.mo.us and click on the Employment tab. We go to the top of the third inning. It'll be batters 7, 8, and 9 to up. To be designated player Danica Alley. First pitch to her upstairs and outside ball one. 
as Allie, a sophomore for Hallsville. She'll be heading to count one to no Cruzan's next delivery. That one just missed a bit upstairs. So that'll make it 2-0. and Calvert and Daly are the other two that will bat through the frame, at least guaranteed to go through. Batters 7-8-9 do up. 2-0 pitch. That one outside. That makes it 3-0. and so Allie looking for a free base here as... She'll dig back in. That pitch down central called strike one. Our count goes three balls and one strike. It's cruising in. Has made quick work of the Lady Indians so far in one, two, three fashion. For the first and second inning, that one is just a bit upstairs. So four pitch walk issued for Alley. Now this right fielder is right fielder Haley Calvert. Calvert, a senior for the Lady Indians. So she steps in. Runner on first base. Nobody out in either team has scored yet. First pitch to her way upstairs. Britton has to go out and get that. Ball one. Cruzanne wearing the sleeve on her right arm. We've seen that a few games this season. 1-0 pitch. That one called strike one. Calvert, I think, went around anyways. So I'll leave in the count on one ball and one strike. Cruzan looks back in. That's going to be called strike number two. Is pitched straight down central. Takes the count one ball and two strikes. Again, Alley standing on first base with a leadoff walk. Calvert again digging back into the right-hand batter's box. 1-2 delivery. That one swung on and missed for strikeout number two on the day for Cruzan. First out here in the frame. Now this is Addie Daly. As Daly, a sophomore for Hallsville. So Daly steps in. In another right-handed batter. First delivery to her. Straight down central called strike one. So she will be down in the count at 0-1-1. She'll look over at the third base box and get the sign from head coach Ryan Crane. A one delivery. She'll show bunt. She'll bunt it foul. As that nicks the bat, bounces off Britain back to the backstop. So that'll make it no balls and two strikes now. Again, one out here as Daly steps back in. Cruzan gets the sign. Next delivery on its way. Swing and a miss. They'll throw down to first. Back safely. But it was close for Allie. So back-to-back -back strikeouts after giving off a leadoff walk. That's three in the game so far. Two swinging, one called. This will be Kristen Jones, the center fielder, as we go back to the top of the lineup. Jones 0 for 1. Pumped out to left field. She'll show bump, pull it back, take called strike one. So she'll be down in the count at 0-1-1. As Cruz Ann will look back in. She'll get the sign. Her next delivery is on its way. Jones will show bunt again as it'll be fielded, throw to first. They say she's safe as Ball had a little bit of backspin on it and caught, nicked the glove of Cruz Ann. So it'll be an infield We'll give that an infield hit. This will be Delaney Crocker, the shortstop. Tough play either way. It's got the backspin on the ball, and tough play for everybody. So two on with two outs. First delivery. That one is downstairs. Ball will be in the dirt. They will throw and get runner out at third base. As trying to advance is Allie, and she gets thrown out at third. So that will be the inning. We will go. To the bottom of the third inning, still scoreless as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball and Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. We go to the bottom of the third inning. As we will go back to the top of the lineup, it'll be Turner, Cruzan, and Britton. It'll be the three that are due up for Southern Boots. Still scoreless here. Either team has found a way to put... Any runs on the board, push anybody across home plate. That first pitch in there called strike one. Turner is trying to show bunt, pulls it back. Takes strike one. Lear still in the circle. That one's going to be fouled back. So now Turner will be down in the count at 0 and 2. And Cruz and in the on deck circle. Britain would be two up. Third here. As looking back in is Lear. That pitch outside. Nice job. Uh, Blake Moore to go out and get that ball that was out of the zone. So one ball, two strike count. Next delivery, that one upstairs. Evens a count two and two. Lear trying to drop it into the strike zone, but just got... A little bit too much rise on it. Lear will look back in. 2-2 delivery. That one low and outside. Now we are full of three balls and two strikes. We're straight up 5-30 here at the ballpark. Blake Gaz will be here with you on the Show Me Sports Network, bringing exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as also Lady Indian softball. There's going to be a ball fouled and a play over my head again, way over my head. Thing got out of here in a hurry. As I said, Blake Gasaway here with you. Here on the Show Me Sports Network. A little different tonight since both of our two teams that we cover here on the Show Me Sports Network on both our channels on the original Show Me Sports Network and Show Me Sports Network 1 or SMSN 1. There's going to be a ball lifted into center field and it's going to get down for another single as Turner has back to back hits. She's got a two-for-two two day going so far. That's his pitcher, Paige Cruzan. She will step in. She's 0-for-1. And into a fielder's choice. Her only at bat. Gracie Britton, the catcher in the on-deck circle. Nobody out here. One base runner. That pitch called strike one straight down central. Said doing the game here, getting both of our teams we try to cover. Here on our Show Me Sports Network channels. Glad you're tuned in. Whether you're listening via our Show Me Sports Network app or media center, there's going to be a ball that's going to be caught by the shortstop who is charging home. That is Crocker. So that'll be out number one. It'll also be catcher Gracie Britton. She's 0 for 1 today. He has to go in the on deck circle for Southern Boone. So we said, however, you're tuned into the game today. We're just glad you're listening, whether it be on our Show Me Sports Network. App or Media Center. Glad you're tuned in. First pitch upstairs, ball one. Should add to our free broadcast posted yesterday about trying to avoid scams. There's a whole lot of scam and phishing posts that get tagged with our broadcast. That one misses ball two. They cabbage on to what we post and 
try to get you to click on a link, but take your money. Our broadcast always free. The free download of the Show Me Sports Network app as well. There's going to be a ball that's fouled over the first base dugout, so that'll make it two balls, one strike. Like I said, we're glad you're tuned in here this evening. If you haven't done so, be sure and head over to our Facebook page. Just search for the Show Me Sports Network. Give it a like. Give it a share as well. We appreciate that. 2-1 delivery. There's going to be a ball hit into right field. It's going to get down, and it'll be two on with one out as Britton cranks that one into right field. She's rewarded with her first single of the day. So this will be Emily Dehas, the senior, steps in. She walked in her first at bat, only at bat so far. So one out, two on, and still scoreless, zero to zero. Don't forget all of our games are also archived. Anywhere you can hear podcasts, you can hear our game broadcast archived there. That one just a bit upstairs, misses ball one. We've got our games archived on Spotify, iHeartRadio, the Apple, and Google podcast platforms. That one fouled back, so I'll leave the count at one and one. All kinds of places, like 30-some places, or it's always growing, it seems, that you can hear our archive games, you can hear the broadcasts, so just search for the Show Me Sports Network anywhere you can hear, find podcasts, you can find those games. We're also putting them on YouTube, that's a very slow process. There's going to be a bouncing ball hit to third as they will tag out Turner at third for out. Number two is, she is caught in the base path. That'll also be Andy Lang, the left fielder, she's one for one. That ends up going as a fielder's choice. First pitch to Lang called strike one. But Britain does steal third base there. So now it's runners on the corners. Lang's going to foul that one over the first base dugout. She'll be down in the count at 0-2. So if she can put a ball in play, this would give Southern Boone the early lead here. So we play bottom of the third inning. No balls, two strikes. Again, two outs, runners on the corners. Lear's next delivery. That one swung on and missed for out number three. So Lear and the Lady Indians able to work out of the Couple of hits they gave up there in the inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left on the base path. We will go to the fourth inning. It's still scoreless as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles and Hallsville Lady Indian Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gazaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? We go to the top of the fourth inning. Here at Southern Boone, still scoreless. Either team is yet to put a run up. So Crocker will come back to bat as she was at bat when Allie was thrown out at third base. First pitch low and inside, ball one. It's a wild pitch that didn't get very far away from Britain. She threw down a third base. Caught Alley for out number three there. One ball, no strike count. Next delivery. That one upstairs. See the football players making their way back from their practice. So we've got Southern Boone County Eagles football as well as Hallsville Indians football tomorrow. 
That pitch upstairs, ball three, each on their respective channel. Or son. Show Me Sports Network on our original channel for Southern Boone and SMSN 1 for Hallsville Indians. Both teams on the road. That pitch down central called strike one. Hallsville will be at Eldon taking on the Mustangs for Southern Boone. The Eagles will be on the road at Versailles taking on the Tigers. Pre-game start at 6.30, kickoff set for 7 o'clock. There's going to be a foul ball as that hit a mile in the air, but it's going to drop foul. Is that down the first baseline? So now we're full of three balls and two strikes. Again, we'll have pregame for both of those broadcast on the air at 6.30 with kickoff set for 7 o'clock. So full count now. As that one swung on and missed, so Crocker is retired for out number one. So this will be third baseman Madison Lucas. She is 0 for 1. As she steps in. Blakemore will be in the on-deck circle. First pitch to Lucas in there called strike one. That one just missed inside. So now we're even at one ball, one strike. So Cruzan in entering her fourth inning of work here. Neither team has yet to score. There's going to be a ball that's hit into shallow center field coming over. Making the grab from right field is Wobie. So that'll be out number two as she tracks it down. So that'll also be Meredith Blakemore, the catcher, stepping in. She is 0 for 1. She popped out to the shortstop in her only at bat here today. So two outs on the board, Cruzan, looking to make it another 1 2 3 inning. First pitch upstairs, ball one. She's faced the minimum in three of the. Sorry, two of the three innings that have been completed. There's going to be a bouncing ball. She knocks it down with her knee. She'll turn to throw to first in time for out number three. It looks like she is okay. This bouncing ball hits her on the knee, but I think she says she is okay. So we will take a quick break and go to the bottom of the fourth inning. We're still scoreless. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. At Hallsville School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Join Hallsville School District's team today, now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit Hallsville.org and click on the employment link under our district tab. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, still scoreless here. This will be Brooklyn's center leading off batters. Six, seven, and eight are due up here as center, Usery, Woby. If any of them could get on, we would see Wren come to bat. No runs, four hits, no errors, four left on the base path for Southern Boone. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on the base path for Lady Indians. First pitch is going to be just a bit high for ball one as center will be heading the count at 1-0. 
So Lear again in the circle. This is her fourth inning of work here. There's going to be a bouncing ball ripped to third. No glove there. Throw to first in time to get out number one. Goes a 5-3 put out. As Lucas to Martin on the out. So will be Ashlyn Ussery, the third baseman for Southern Boone. She will step in. In bottom of the fourth, we play with one out. Still zeros across the board in the runs department for both teams. There's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be off Lear's glove. And legging it out is Ussery as she will be standing on first base with an infield hit. She's got a one-out hit. This is Cami Wobey, the right fielder. She struck out in her only at bat here today. Might come down to, thought this might be a shootout of sorts here, but I think it's going to come down to whoever pushes a run across. There's going to be a foul ball. It'll be gloved as and caught as the third baseman crashing down. That is Lucas. So Wobey pops out on the first pitch. It is out number two. So this will be Addison Wren, the second baseman, stepping in. She is 0 for 1 with a strikeout today. she got two outs, a runner on first base. She's going to pop that one high in the air, going back on it, and making uh, calling her off as the shortstop, making the grab for out number three. So despite giving up a hit, there are no runs, one hit. No errors, one left on the base path. And Southern Moon unable to push any runs across. We will go to the top of the fifth inning, still scoreless. As you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball and Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Now more than ever. The Southern Boone School District is hiring part-time bus drivers for round athletics and activities with no experience necessary. Our drivers enjoy flexible work hours, paid on-site CDL training, and paid time off, all while helping our community. The position offers competitive pay. Go visit sbschools.us slash employment. We need you! At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. We go to the top of the fifth inning. It'll be batters five, six, and seven to up. Lear, Austin, and Allie will be uh, the three that they send about as that first pitch to Lear is going to be fouled out of play. So she'll be down in the count at 0-1. Like I said, all of our games, talked about it earlier, archived. Anywhere you can hear podcasts, you can hear our game broadcast. We're also working on getting them archived on YouTube. We've made it through some of basketball season last year. It just takes a long, long time to get that done. That one fouled back, so we'll go in two. It's, uh, it's just a long process to get the games uploaded to YouTube and then work through the copyright claims and such that it picks up off of any of the background music and other things. So, O2 delivery, that one upstairs. That'll make it one ball, two strikes. Like I said, it just takes time to work through that. So, we are into basketball season from last year on archiving those games, but you can always head over just go to YouTube, search Show Me Sports Network. You'll find us there. That one's going to be found back, so we'll still stay. At one ball, two strikes. We appreciate the support. As like I said, find us on YouTube. Just search for Show Me Sports Network. Give our page a subscription. Click on the little icon to subscribe. We appreciate that. More than you know, there's going to be a ball fouled off that one well hit, but it is going to go foul. It'll get out of the park, so we'll still stay at one ball and two strikes. Also on Twitter, don't use it a whole lot. Honestly, just have a whole lot of other things to do, but we do have a Show Me Sports Network Twitter account as well. 1-2 delivery from Cruzan. That one's going to hit Lear. 
So Lear will jog down to first base with a hit by pitch. She'll be standing at first base. We're going to have a courtesy runner. So we'll see who this is. Looks like that is can't tell who that is. That's Ellie Schistler, the sophomore, in to run. So Austin will step in now with a runner on first and nobody out. Schistler, courtesy runner at first base. There's going to be a ball driven a mile in the air. But foul, that's going to get over into the football stadium as Austin got the hips turned. Got the hands to follow and drove that ball, but just was out in front of it. Hooks it foul. It's going to be a big swing and a miss there. That'll make the count. No balls and two strikes. Austin showing why her team has been putting up double-digit runs in the last couple weeks of softball there with that swing. 0-2 pitch. That one's outside. So that'll make it one ball, two strikes. Allie, Danica Alley, the designated player, she's in the on-deck circle for Lady Indians. One ball, two strike count. Next delivery, that one upstairs. So now we are even at two balls, two strikes. Again, runner on first base. That's Schischler. So she is the courtesy runner brought in for Lear after Lear was hit by pitch. That's two balls, two strikes. Next pitch, that one misses low and away. So that will take the count full now. And three balls and two strikes. Next delivery from Cruzan, that one low, so walked her. So now two base runners on with nobody out here. Now this will be Allie. She walked her last time up, then was moved over to second base on a single. However, she was thrown out at third base on a wild pitch that didn't get very far from Britain. Britain guns her down at third base. First delivery to her, she'll show bunch. She'll lay it down. They say it's foul ball. It did hit her as she... It's that for strike one. Everybody was in motion there. Schistler was headed to third base. Austin was headed to second. So Alley will be down in the count and no balls and one strike. And nobody out. Two runners on here as we play in the top of the fifth. Neither team has pushed a run across yet. That pitch way upstairs. Britain's going to throw down to second as... Tried to catch the base runner napping. Like the decision there. Just not close enough to the bag to make the tag. So one ball, one strike count. And nobody out here. Cruzan will look back in. 1-1 one, one delivery on its way. There's going to be a ball that's going to be ripped to left field. It's going to get down. They'll give the uh, green light at third base. Two runs will go. Well, they say it's a ground rule double, actually. So one run is pushed across. So that goes as one run, as that makes it a one to nothing score. As Allie gets credit for an RBI double, ground roll double. Now this will be Haley Calvert. First pitch to her. Misses upstairs, ball one. So 
The one run scored as Hallsville takes the one to nothing lead. There's going to be a ball that's going to be lifted to right field coming in, making the grab. She'll throw home. There's going to be a play, but throw is not in time as Britton tripped up, and they say everybody is safe. As another run scores, you hear the fans do not like that. So Calvert, Rye scores a sack, a run on a sack fly. So this will be Addie Daly. Again, just one out on the board. There's going to be a ball hit foul. Cue balled on the first base side. Again, just one out here. Runner on third base. Two runs have been plated for Hallsville. Half an hour ball. Go out of play, so that'll make it 0-2. Hallsville pushed a couple of runs across. They're still looking for more as they've got a runner on third base and just one out on the board here. Next delivery. That one's going to be fouled off again, so we'll still stay at 0-2. Kristen Jones, center fielder in the on-deck circle. Good runner on third base. That is Allie. 0-2 delivery. There's going to be a ball hit high in the air. Britton trying to track you down. She'll take a few steps, make the grab for out. Number two. So now we'll go back to the top of the lineup. Kristen Jones steps in. She is one for two. And an infield hit. Also popped out to left field. So two runs plated here for Lady Indians. Looking to add to that 2 nothing lead. First pitch missed just outside, ball one. Jones in the left-handed batter's box. RBIs for Alley and Calvert. Let's put the Lady Indians Ahead by a score of 2-0. 1-0 -oh delivery. She'll show bunt. And that's going to be a foul ball. It's up and in. Jones caught it with the bat, but it's questionable if it hit her hand as well. But I say foul ball, so makes it one ball, one strike. Crocker, the shortstop in the on-deck circle for Hallsville. One ball, one strike, Cruzan. Working here in the top of the fifth. That one is upstairs. That makes it two balls, one strike. And wind continuing to blow pretty much from left to right, so left field to right field. 2 1 delivery. She'll show bunt again. She'll foul that one back. So now we're even at two balls and two strikes. Two outs on the board. Two runs have been plated here. Just one hit in the inning. That gives two hits in the game for those two runs. For Hallsville. 2-2 two -two delivery. There's going to be a ball that's going to go foul. As that goes a long ways, but just a little bit in front of it since it fouled down the first base line. Again, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on third base. That is Allie standing at third base. 2-2 two -two delivery from Cruzan. That one outside. So now that makes us full of three balls and two strikes. Cruzan will step off. And she'll get set. Payoff pitch on its way. There's going to be a ball that's lifted into uh, near second base, short stop, calls for it, makes the gram. That is Brooklyn Center for out number three. Well, we're going to take another quick break as Hallsville is able to take the 2-0 lead. We'll take a quick break and be back. 
Sports. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we go to the bottom of the fifth inning back to the top the lineup will go so it'll be turner cruzan and britain will be the Three that are due up. First offering from Lear. There's going to be a ball found over the third base dugout. So Turner will be down in the count at 0-1 now. So Lear looks back in. 0-1 delivery. That one's going to miss just upstairs and outside. So that'll take the count. One ball, one strike now. In Hallsville leading by a score of two to nothing here. One one delivery. That one's going to be fouled off. So Turner will be down in the count now. One ball and two strikes. And Cruzan and Britain remaining matters to go through this frame. That one's fouled back, so we'll still stay. One ball, two strikes. At least remaining two of the three that are guaranteed here through the frame. As one ball, two strikes. Turner will step back in. She steps out, takes a deep breath. There's going to be a ball head high in the air. As coming in on it, making the grab is the shortstop in Crocker for out number one. Now this is pitcher Paige Cruzan. She is 0 for two today in the batter's box on the mound giving up two runs on two hits she's walked a couple of batters hit one and four strikeouts first pitch to her upstairs ball one Gracie Britton the catcher in the on deck circle for Southern Boone one ball no strike count next pitch that one swung on and missed as we even at one ball and one strike. A cruise hand. Chokes up a little bit. There's going to be a low pitch. That'll make it two balls and one strike. A cruise hand. Steps back in. She will kick that right foot back just a hair. Infield playing a little bit shallow as it'll be a bouncing ball. It'll be taken at first. She will glove, step on the bag for out number two. That's Martin who's playing first base. So that'll also be catcher Gracie Britton. She had a single her last time up, has a one for two day. We're just past 6 o'clock here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazaway here with you. Glad you're tuned in for Southern Boone County Eagles softball and Hallsville Lady Indian softball. Two teams we cover exclusively here on the Show Me Sports Network. First pitch to Britain, ball one. Of course, typically, Southern Boone covered on Show Me Sports Network, the original channel, and on SMSN1 or Show Me Sports Network 1. It's Hallsville, but today we're 
playing each other. So just one broadcast. That one misses ball two, so that'll make it two balls and no strikes. And two outs here on the board for Lear, starting pitcher for Hallsville, trying to make it a one, two, three inning. That one called, strike one. So two balls and one strike to count. Looking back in is Lear. There's going to be a ball ripped foul down the third base line. Just a bit in front of it is Britton. So we'll go two balls and two strikes. Lear trying to make it a 1-2-3 inning. Johnny had one of those here. That was the bottom of the second. She's trying to retire the side here and get out of the bottom of the fifth. 2-2 two -two delivery. There's going to be a ball hit high as the right fielder coming in over it, trying to make a diving grab as the center fielder, but cannot do so as Britton will be standing at second base with a two-out double. That was Kristen Jones laying out for it, but could not get the glove on it. So Britton stands at second base with two outs here. Now this is first baseman Emily Dehas. First pitch to her, called strike one. She walked her first at bat, then reached first on a fielder's choice. Her last time up. All one delivery, that one down central called strike two. Diaz was taking all the way there. So step out, take a couple of practice cuts with that royal blue bat. Now she'll step back in. 0-2 delivery, there's going to be a ball hit high in the air, but foul as that's a way to get out of play. So we'll stay at an 0-2 count. Lear will work the Rawson. Now she'll tow the rubber again. She'll look in, get the sign from Blake Moore. 0-2 delivery. That one just missed. Here half the crowd groan, half the crowd cheer. You have purple on, you groaned. If you have red or black on, you, you cheered at that pitch. 1-2 delivery, that one upstairs. It'll get past the catcher. That will give Britain a chance to take third base. So two balls and two strikes the count. It's Diaz trying to drive in the first run of the game for Southern Boone. Southern Boone trails Hallsville by a score of two to nothing. Two two delivery. There's going to be a ball hit high in the air. As going back on it is a shortstop Crocker. She will make the grab for out number three. As no runs, one hit, no errors, one left on the base path. We'll go to the sixth inning. Still a Hallsville 2 0 score. We'll take a quick break and be back. You should listen to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles! The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Well, we go to the top of the sixth inning. Hallsville still leads by a 2-0 score. It's 
This will be batters two, three, and four. That'll be coming to plate. Crocker, Lucas, and Blakemore. Crocker will lead off here. She is 0 for 2, hit into a 5-3 put out. Also hit or uh, struck out as well. First delivery from Cruzan is fouled back. Strike one. And we're glad you're tuned in to our broadcast here today. Blake Asley with you on the Show Me Sports Network. If you haven't done so, head over to our social media and find us on Facebook. Just search for the Show Me Sports Network. Give our page a like, give it a share as well. A one delivery, that one upstairs. That evens a count of one ball, one strike. Also on Twitter. There we're just at Show Me Sports Net. Didn't have enough characters left to make it network, so she had to settle with net. That one ended at the ankles for ball two. Makes it two balls, one strike. So on Twitter we're Show Me Sports Net. We're also on YouTube. You can find us. Just search for Show Me Sports Network. Give our page a click on the subscribe button. That one down central, even at two balls, two strikes. Appreciate that. As trying to incorporate YouTube into what we do more, but just find us there. That one's going to hit her. So Crocker is going to be hit by pitch. As I was saying, though, we're on YouTube. Just search for... Show Me Sports Network, give our page a subscribe. You can also click the little alert button to tell you when we post anything. We do archive games there and trying to do some other stuff as well. Do some things a little bit different with our YouTube channel. So now also step in is Madison Lucas, the third baseman. She'll step in, nobody out, runner on first base. They'll throw down to first, back safely is Crocker. So Lucas will be heading the count, one ball and no strikes. Looking back in is Cruzan. 1 0 delivery. There's going to be a ball ripped to third as Ussery will glove throw to second for Wren. And she is tripped up. They will throw back, run her back safely. But Wren was slid into and knocked down on the play. So Lucas will be standing on first base. So this will be. Uh, Catcher Meredith Blakemore stepping in. She is 0 for 2. Popped out to short. He did a 1 3 out. First pitch to her downstairs, ball one. So Lucas standing on first base with that fielder's choice. One out on the board. There's going to be a ball that's going to be hit into uh, left center field, and it's going to one hop the wall. So it'll be a ground roll double. Second one we've had here today as Blakemore connects with that one and sends it over. One hopping the fence, clips the top of it and goes over. So another ground roll double. Now this will be Abby Lear stepping in. Our team leads. By two at two to nothing. Lady Indians over the Eagles. She was hit by a pitch her last time up, struck out in her first at bat. First pitch to her outside upstairs, ball one. As Lucas standing at third, Blakemore standing at second. So both of them in scoring position here. So Lear will be heading the count one and oh. She'll step back in. Next delivery. That one's going to be a down. Thought it was down central. Must have just missed outside. Didn't miss by much. Probably not a pitch I would take again. So two balls, no strikes. The count. One out here. Next pitch from Cruz and that one swung on and missed. So again, two and one the count now. As Cruz Ann will tow the rubber in the circle. She'll look in. Lear will step out. Now she'll step back in. She'll get set to one delivery on its way. There's going to be a ball ripped to left field. Lane going back on it, going back. And that will leave the park as that is a three-run home run for Abby Lear as that clears the fence. And she adds three more runs to her team's lead as Hallsville now leads by a score 
of five to nothing. As there's some question if that was fair or foul. I can't give any judgment as I cannot see anything down the third baseline because of the dugout. But head coach Ashley Anderson comes out and asks for some clarification from the home plate umpire. As now it's a five to nothing score in favor of Hallsville. So now this is Austin stepping in. First pitch to her misses ball one. So it's a five to nothing Lady Indians lead. Austin steps out, asks for time. She steps in, 1-0 delivery. She swings and misses and a high one there. That evens account, one ball, one strike. Judging by the crowd's reaction, too, that's maybe the second ball that was questionable whether it went foul or fair. That one a home run, the one before was a ground rule double. That one downstairs, ball two. Again, I can't see anything down the third base line because of the dugout here. It's the only negative thing here at the ballpark. That one misses, ball three, and there's no plug-in up on the little concord, so got to snake my cord through the fence into the PA announcer and scorekeeper's box for them to plug in for me. So only two negative things I've found here. So 3-1 delivery is going to miss for ball four, so Austin is given a walk. So we're going to have a meeting here on the mound. As just trying to get Cruzan a chance to calm down just a bit here on the mound. She has done well pitching this season. She's done well in this game. Just haven't had some of the borderline calls fall in her favor. She does have four strikeouts on the day here as Lady Indians lead by a score of five to nothing here. Three runs plated here in the top of the sixth inning. So just one out on the board, one base runner on the base path. Two runs are plated in the top of the fifth. First delivery is going to be a bouncing ball as it's going to be stopped by center at shortstop, but no play. So Alley will have back-to-back -back hits now. So she'll have a single. She had the ground roll double last frame. As Austin will go to second base. So we are going to have a pinch runner here for Allie. This is Haley Martin. So Haley Martin steps in as a courtesy runner here at first base. She steps in for Alley. So one out, two runners on, and Hallsville leading by a score of five to nothing. It's Haley Calvert, the right fielder, steps in. She's 0 for 2, struck out. Had a sack fly as well. They will throw back to first base almost. Got the runner picked off there. As pitch to Calvert was ball one. Britton just about. Gunned another runner down. That one at first, she's already gunned one down at third. That one down central, called strike one. Evens account, one ball, one strike. And one out here as we play in the top of the sixth inning. 1-1 one, one count to Calvert. Cruzan's next delivery, that one low. Nice job of Britton to stop that. Keep it in front of her. As Martin courtesy running at second base, sorry, at first base, over at second base is Austin. There's going to be a bouncing ball, and it's going to get through into center field as they'll score another run. The throw will be offline, so that'll be an RBI single for Calvert as she sends it into center field. So Martin moves over to second base on the single. And Austin scores 
from second base. Also be second baseman Addie Daly stepping in. Her team now has a six to nothing lead. As that first pitch upstairs, ball one. That pitch will be down central, called strike one. So evens account, one ball, one strike. Again, still two runners on with nobody out here. Ailey is 0 for 2. Next delivery, she'll show bunch. She'll lay it down foul as it hits on home plate and heads over my direction. So that'll make it one ball, two strike count. Again, 6 to nothing, Hallsville. Lady Indians leading over the Southern Boone County Eagles. 1-2 delivery from Cruzan. And one misses. Ball one. They just threw that ball into center field as Britton trying to throw down a second, but Martin had to dive back in. So she was not in a position to head to third base. Cruzan looks into 2 delivery. That one upstairs. That got by Britton the catcher, so everybody will advance a base there on that wild pitch. So now we're full at three balls and two strikes. Daly will step back in. Payoff pitch from Cruzan. There's going to be a ball lifted in the air. Cruzan will catch for out number two. So now we'll go back to the top of the lineup in Kristen Jones. Jones represents the ninth batter to come through here in the top of the sixth inning. She'll show bunt. That one will be fouled back. So she'll be down in the count at 0-1. And six runs on six hits, no errors. Two left on the base path for Hallsville. No runs. On six hits, no errors. Six left on the base path for Southern Boone. As that next pitch misses, ball one, evens the count, one ball, one strike. Cruzan looks in. There's a pitch low as Jones showed bunt, pulled it back for ball two. But two balls and one strike to count now as Martin will be over at third base. Calvert will be at second base. Two outs on the board, 2-1 delivery. That one in there called strike two. So now we're even at two balls and two strikes. Again, four runs played it here in the top of the sixth inning for Hallsville. Jones at bat. She's going to hit a well-hit ball. Diving try and will not make the grab at center field. They will throw to second, but she'll be there safely as... Trying to come in and dive for that is Turner. So we'll be an RBI single, sorry, an RBI double for Jones. So this is Delaney Crocker. She's batter number 10 of the inning here. She's going to foul that one out of play for strike one. She will be down in the count at 0-1. As Hallsville has extended their lead to 7 to nothing. There's going to be a ball hit into right field as it'll be gloved for out number three. Well, there were five runs plated by Hallsville as... They add to their lead. We're going to take a quick break. They lead by a score of 7 to nothing. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business attention indians fans here's your chance to help the student athletes of hallsville by becoming a member of the hallsville athletic boosters your gifts help provide all hallsville athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford you can join the hallsville athletic boosters this season for as little as 25 dollars. membership is open to everyone interested in joining look them up on facebook by searching hallsville athletic boosters or email them at hallsville athletic boosters at gmail.com let's go indians Sixth inning as they lead by a score of seven to nothing. Now this will be batters five, six, and seven to up Lang, Center, and Ussery. As first pitch to her upstairs from Lear, ball one. So Lang will be heading the count at one and zero. Oh. That one also upstairs. That makes it a two zero oh count. Lear steps off. Now 2-0 delivery. That one's going to be sliced foul. That goes over the Lady Indians dugout on the first base side. So that'll make it two balls and one strike to count. As Lang let off her first at bat of the day with the single left field. Then she struck out her last time up. There's going to be a well-hit ball. That's going to get down and go to the fence in right center field as she will be on her way to second base with a leadoff double. She gets a good hand from the crowd here, this gal, trying to rally her team back. So they are going to bring in a courtesy runner. Nova Porter will come in and run for her. As Nova, a freshman, Porter will come in as a courtesy runner now at second base. This will be shortstop Brooklyn Center. She's 0 for 2 here today. And Southern Moon trying to get a little rally going as they trail by a score of 7 to nothing. Again, courtesy runner with Nova Porter on second base. Ashlyn. Ossery will be in the on-deck circle. First delivery downstairs and low to center. So she'll be heading the count at 1-0. And no runs, six hits, no errors. Six left on the base path for Southern Boone. That pitch just misses, ball two. Seven runs on seven hits, no errors. And four left on the base path for Hallsville. 2-0 delivery. There's going to be a well-hit ball. That'll go into left field. And left fielder misplays it. They'll give Nova Porter the go-ahead. She'll slide in. The first run is across the board as throw was offline. Center ends up at second base. Well, the first run has played it now for Southern Boone. So Ashlyn Ussery steps in now. So now it's a 7-1 ball game. There's nobody out, runner on second base. Lear looks in, next delivery. That one down central called strike one. As Ussery will be down in the count at 0-1-1. Lear looks back in again at second base is center. There's going to be a big swing and a miss there for strike number two. As center... Ends up at second base with an RBI after Addie Lang led off with a double. And a courtesy runner, Nova Porter, was brought in. They switch places. First run across the board, 0-2. There's going to be a slow roller to third. No glove throw to first. The throw is a little high, but they're in time for out number one. So 
So this will be Cammy Wobie. He's playing in right field. Made that catch to end the last frame for Hallsville. First pitch downstairs, slow ball one. So Wobie will be heading the count at one ball and no strikes. And one out, runner on second base. That's center. She has the only RBI for Southern Moon of the day. That one's sliced foul. So that'll get out of play. That'll even the count at one ball and one strike. So Wobie again steps back in. 1-1 delivery from Lear. That one's going to be fouled back, so she'll be down in the count at 1 and 2. So one ball, two strike count. Again, one out. Wren in the on-deck circle. Next delivery to Wobi will be forthcoming from Lear. Now it's on its way. There's a swing and a miss for out number two. So this will be uh, Addison Wren, the second baseman. She steps in here. She's 0 for 2. First pitch to her, swing and a miss for strike one out in front of that one. So she'll be down in the count at 0 and 1. She steps back in. Lear's next delivery. That one's going to be hit high in the air. It's going to go foul. We'll see if it's going to stay in the park trying to make a sliding grab as Blakemore. She could not get the glove on him, but made a heck of an effort. As that will go for strike number two. So we play here, bottom of the sixth inning. No balls and two strikes the count. Again, two outs here. Runner on second base for Southern Moon. They do pull the infield in for her. She's going to slow roller back to the pitcher, Leroy Glove. She'll throw to first to get out number three. That goes as a 1-3 put out to end the inning. Well, Southern Moon was able to score one run. They did have two hits, no errors, left one on the base path. We'll go to the seventh inning here as it's a 7-1 Hallsville lead as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Moon County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog, Tracer, who has been my best friend in my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved, volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. At Southern Boone School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Our students need you. Join Southern Boone School District's team today. Now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit ashland.k12.mo.us and click on the employment tab. Well, we go to the top of the seventh inning. As it is a 7-1 Hallsville lead. As it'll be batters 3, 4, and 5 due up. This is Lucas. First pitch to her called strike 1. So she'll be down in the count at 0-1 now. As Cruzan still in the circle for Southern Boone. That one bounces across home plate. That'll Take it even at one ball, one strike. And seven runs for the Hallsville Lady Indians, one run for Southern Boone County Eagles. 
One ball, one strike count. Cruzan's next delivery. That one down central called strike two. Saddle take the count. One ball and two strikes. And we're just past 630 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasaway here with you. Glad you're tuned in to our broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. One, two delivery. There's going to be a ball slice foul, so we'll do it again. Inclusive home for Southern Boone County Athletics as well as Hallsville Indian and Lady Indian Athletics. May we get a combination of both. One, two delivery. Again, that one sliced foul, so we'll still stay at one ball, two strike count. Britton gives chase but runs out of real estate. That foul ball. And however you're tuned in, we're glad you're tuned in, whether it be on our Show Me Sports Network app or Media Center. We're just glad you're listening. One ball, two strike count, next delivery. That one's going to be low, so now we are even at two balls and two strikes. Cruzanne entering her seventh inning of work here. 2-2 two -two delivery. That one down central called strike three. So backwards K recorded. So now we will have catcher Meredith Blakemore stepping in. She had a double her last time up. Then was able to score on the three-run home run by Lear, who is in the on-deck circle. So one out here, first delivery. There's going to be a ball. It's going to hit to the shortstop. She'll glove throw to first in time as that is center. Throws over to D. Hass for out number two. Hard hit ball, but a good play right there. So now this will be pitcher Abby Lear. She had a three-run home run in her last at bat. She was hit by a pitch her at bat before that, struck out in her first at bat of the game. So Lear will step in. Her team leads 7-1, first pitch to her, but upstairs, but outside, ball one. And two outs on the board here as we play in the top of the seventh inning. So one ball, no strike count. Cruzan's next delivery. That one just missed for ball two. So that'll make it two balls and no strikes. And two outs on the board. It's a six-run cushion for Hallsville right now as they lead 7-1. There's going to be a ball for or a uh, called strike one. When you're trying to pull the trigger, just kind of half-hearted swung it, so that makes it two balls, one strike to count. He's trying to stop, but overcommitted to the swing. That one's going to be upstairs. So now we're at three balls and one strike. And two outs here as Lear steps back in. Next pitch, that one just a bit high. So Lear will trot on down to first base with a two-out walk. We are going to see a courtesy runner. I believe this is Ellie Schisler again. So Austin will step in. First pitch to her. She hits that high in the air. It's coming in on it from right field and making the grab as will be for out number three. The only inning, there were no runs, no hits, no errors, one left on the base path. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh as Hallsville still leads 7-1. to one. Take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball as well as Hallsville Lady Indian softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community woodshop. 
In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world. Receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Southern Boone has to push six runs across to take us to extra. If we push seven across, we would go home with a win. They've got their work cut out for them as they'll go back to the top of the lineup and Turner, Cruzan, and Britton are the three due up as Lear enters her seventh inning of work here in the circle. First delivery, there's going to be a ball fouled off for strike one. As that will get out of play, Turner will be down in the count at 0-1. Lear on Lear's next delivery, that one's going to be fouled off. Trying to lay down a bunt, but it goes foul. So that'll make the count. No balls and two strikes. She'll jog back, get her bat. Step back in the left-hand batter's box. Lear looks in. 0-2 delivery on its way. That one upstairs. So now we're at one ball and two strikes the count. Southern Moon trails by a score of 7-1. to one. Next delivery, that one just misses outside. So that'll even the count of two balls and two strikes. The temperature continuing to drop here, but the wind has stopped as the flag pretty much just kind of stagnant right now. That one's low and away. Now we're full of three balls and two strikes. Well, I say that the wind picks up a bit, flips the flag around. Has been very windy here this afternoon and evening. Going from left field to right field. There's going to be a ball hit high in the air. It's coming in on it is Jones. She'll camp under it, make grab for out number one. This will be pitcher Paige Cruzan. She steps in. Her team trails by a score of 7-1. to one. She... Steps in on the left-hand side of the plate. One out here. The bottom of the seventh. Nobody on. First pitch low and away. Ball one. So we said her team trails by six at seven to one. It's Hallsville leads Southern Boone. one delivery from Lear. There's going to be a ball set right up the middle. That'll get through to center field. So a one-out single will put Cruzan at first base. But now we'll go to catcher Gracie Britton. She doubled her last time up, and she had a single. Before that, popped out to first base in her first at bat. She's got one on, one out. First pitch is going to be a ball. It's hit into center field. Jones will make the grab. She was on the horse and was able to corral it out near the fence out there in right center field. For out number two. A good play right there. Now this will be first baseman Emily Dehas. She steps in. She's had a walk. Hit into a fielder's choice. And popped out to shortstop. Two outs here. First pitch is low ball one. Cruzan again on first base. Two outs here on the board. Southern Boone trails by six at seven to one. Next delivery, and that's going to be hit high in the air. Jones will come in on it. She will make the grab for out number three as she gets the last two outs. In the inning, there were no runs, one hit, no errors. One left on the base path as that will take our game final as Hallsville Lady Indians beat 
Southern Boone Eagles by a score of 7-1. to one. We'll take a quick, uh, we'll just keep it right here, just my scorebook here as Southern Boone drops their second game in a row. As Hallsville, they did get the win but didn't score as many runs as they usually do. They've been averaging 14 runs a game at the minimum in the last couple of weeks. As they get the win by a final of 7-1. to one. For the Hallsville Lady Indians. They move to a record of 14-2 and two on the season. And for Southern Boone, they fall to a record of 9-5. and five. Again, two runs put up. In the fifth inning for Hallsville. And they put up five runs in the sixth inning as they get the seven to one victory over the Southern Boone Eagles here in Ashland. As again, that drops. Southern Boone's record to nine and six on the season. They've lost their last two games. For Hallsville, they pushed their record to 14 and two on the season. As next action for Southern Boone, they will be playing in the uh, AA tournament. That'll be on Saturday. We will have the broadcast of that as first game set will put out what the schedule is. I believe first game is at 10.15. First, or sorry, first game of the day is at 8.30 in the morning. Which then makes their game. They're the second game of the day. That's at Eugene. We'll have more coverage, though, as we get closer to Saturday. We'll let you know what that looks like. But we will have coverage of all the Southern Moon games on Saturday at the AA tournament in Eugene and Russellville. But that's going to do it for our broadcast here tonight as Southern Boone drops the game to Hallsville by a score of 7-1 in our Show Me Sports Network softball showdown. As we'll do it for our broadcast here for the Show Me Sports Network, I'm Blake Gasaway. Until I talk to you tomorrow night with Southern Boone County Eagles football with pregame starting about 6.30, kickoff set for 7 o'clock here on the Show Me Sports Network. So long and have a great evening. You've been listening to the biggest and absolute best coverage in mid-Missouri on the exclusive home for Southern Boone County Eagles softball, the Show Me Sports Network, and the Eagles Radio Network. The Show Me Sports Network broadcast crew are the ones that know your Eagles the best. Exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles softball has been brought to you by Avon with Michelle Carty, Boone County Journal, Centurion Cares, Eddie Good. Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited.